Hi, I'm Keisha from Coconut Robot, and today um, I'm really excited to show you guys how I use my Scan and Cut to create all of these little toiletry bags. As you can see, I kind of had a bit of fun with this project. Um, what I love about this project is it's perfect to make for Father's Day. So I made this one here with my husband's initials. Um, you can make them as masculine or as feminine as you'd like. And I have a couple different styles that I have created for you guys. And I have all of the patterns and templates ready for you to download. You can also add things like your child's artwork. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll list out the supplies for you and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you how I made them. So I have my standard mat here and I have that prepped with my fabric support sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and just place my multi-purpose fabric right side down. So now we're just going to pull up the pattern that we have saved. And this is where I've made it really easy. And we have all of the sewing steps already built into this pattern. And the background scan. And next I'm just going to group all of my items together. I've already resized it. I'm just gonna check to make sure it's the size I want it. And now I'm just going to place it onto my multi-purpose fabric that I have wrong side facing up. Because now we're gonna go ahead and mark our seam allowance. to sew together just following the numbers that I've um, already put on the pattern for you. So you just start with side one and we're always going to do right sides together. For the zippers you're going to want to do kind of your zipper sandwich. So right side to right side. And a trick for um, if you're the first time doing a zipper is to buy one that's extra long because then you can sew the length of your bag without worrying about that zipper end. Um, getting in the way and having to move it mid seam. So we're going to start with step one, which is sewing the first side, right side to right side of your zipper following that seam allowance. And then we'll do the same for the other side. So I've sewn down my right side of my bag to the right side of my zipper. I'm just gonna fold that back and then I'm gonna do just a nice top stitch just to hold that back. It's totally optional, you could just press it, but top stitching it is gonna just give it that more professional finished look. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my other side right side down. I use the air soluble pen on here and as you can see it's hot and humid and it disappeared very quickly. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put right sides together with that zipper. So now I have kind of a sandwich of my right sides of my toiletry bag facing together with my zipper right side up in between. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that quarter inch seam allowance, uh, flip it back and top stitch that side. Okay, so I have my zipper in place. At this time, if you wanna add any embellishments um, with maybe some drawings or initials or um, any applique, now would be the time to do it because your bag is laying flat. But all we're going to do at this point is follow our instructions. So the next number that we have to sew is two, which is our bottoms. So I'm just going to put our bottoms right sides together and sew up that quarter inch seam. Okay, so my bottom um, seam is sewn here. You can leave that as is, um, or you can top stitch that if you'd like to. I'm not going to top stitch this one just to show you how easy um, this pattern really can be. So now we're going to follow steps three. So we have a three here up at the top with our zipper and a three at the bottom. And we're simply going to match those threes together. And here is where if you're using a zipper that's too long like I have here, which I actually love to do, we're going to want to make sure we open up our zipper and then simply line up those threes so we can sew them together. Okay, so I'm just gonna line up those. That's why those seam allowances are really nice and the fact this is cut for you and we'll just sew up those sides. 
So now I have my side sewn up, as you can see here, I've done number three, and now I need to move on to number four. So all we're going to do for four is just pinch these sides together. So we have a nice point, and sew our mat seam allowance. And we'll do that on all four sides.